Well, good morning. It is a joy for me to see you here. And people are still coming in. It's amazing how Christ can just draw a crowd and remind us, no matter how far away we've been or we think we are, uh, down deep we all know God's mercy. We all know and sense God wants us close to Him. And there's a deep desire in our own heart to respond to that invitation of open arms to come. He is a God of mercy, a God of love, a God of peace. But most of all, He wants us, as His sons and daughters, He wants us holy and not enslaved. As we move into Ash Wednesday, we and Lent, we've been here before, right? Multiple times. Yep. It's a comfortable place. Let me just offer this for encouragement. As we enter into the Lent of the season, what we're looking to do really is uh, we're not entering a season of rules and regulations, although it can seem like that. Today, you abstain from fasting. Or no, it's obligatory for fasting and to abstain from whatever you're abstaining from, right? The meat and whatever your, your observance is this Lent. And, uh, oh, now, if you're 18 years to 59, you're in that range, that window that you have to do this. It's obligatory. But if not, you can kind of do what you want to do. If you're not feeling good, that's okay. It's Sunday. Ah, it's the Lord's day. I'm not going to fast. It's a day to celebrate. It's okay. Yes. When we approach anything with rules and regulations, we're always looking for the loophole. What can I do? What can I? <laughs> My encouragement is don't approach this as rules and regulations. Approach it as, I want a new relationship with you. And in a relationship, the only rules and regulations is to give yourself completely to the other. And along the way, we learn how to discipline ourselves so that that relationship stays healthy and strong. If you leave here with that understanding, then it's a win-win for all of us. Also, a reminder that the season of Lent is it's not the Super Bowl. It's a practice. It's, it's a practice. So you're going to fail, you're going to you're trip, you're going to fall, you're going to be uneasy, you're just coming out of the gates. It's all right. It's a practice. So once you hit Easter, then you're trained, you're balanced, you're disciplined, you're obedient, and then you're moving forward for the rest of the year. If we approach it this way, it becomes a lot easier and more enjoyable. And we don't have to hold our, our breath or white knuckle it through the rest of the five weeks. Because that's not what that's about. Also, it's the time of, it's an invitation for interruption. An, an invitation, Lent is an invitation for interruptions. What does that mean? I'm going to fast or I'm going to abstain, or I'm going to be good from Monday to Friday. <laughs> now the week is going to come along, and sometimes it's going to, it might be inconvenient because I'm going to be with a group of guys, or my girlfriends, or we have, oh, it's a holiday, oh, it's spring break, oh, we've got a vacation coming. These things are going to pop up. So it's an invitation for interruption. How do we face that? 
it comes back to rules and regulations, you're going to get around it. There's always loopholes and fine print. But if you approach it with a relationship, that you know what? In this relationship, Lord, there's going to be, am I willing to love you in the midst of difficulties, challenges, inconveniences? Are you willing to love this man when it doesn't feel right? It's a relationship. So you're going to say, yeah. You feel like loving your kids when they don't listen to you? As an obligation, you're out of here. You just broke the rules. But if it's a relationship and based on love, gosh, you're just going to shake your head and say, you cannot have my DNA. There's no way. <laughs> and then you're going to see, well, they did, they are mine. And you're going to do whatever it takes. Relationship. That's what this is about. Plain and simple. And I'm just keeping it simple. Now, I don't know what to give up. I don't know what to take on. I don't know what to do. It's all right. Start out easy. It could be a devotion of maybe a rosary. Too much. Got it. How about there's five decades? Just do one decade. <laughs> Ten beads. Every day. Or the Divine Mercy Chaplet takes five minutes. And maybe challenge yourself to come into Mass once a week. On weekdays. If you can't, if you're like, Father, I'm going to get here on a Sunday. <laughs> Then try coming on Sundays. Just try coming. Commit to something. Right? Remember, it's not, it's not rules and regulations. God doesn't work that way. It's a relationship. That's the heart of this. So when you come and you get ash, and you get that beautiful black mark on your, on your forehead, you're not going to see it. And you're going to rub it off because you're going to hit your forehead a couple of times. And the ladies that wear war paint, or I mean beauty aids, <laughs> it's going to, it's not going to look good on you. But what a powerful sign it is for others. That you're in a relationship. Right? Thank you for coming. I invite you to stay with us at St. Anastasia as we move forward through the Lenten season. Uh, we're working on a series of, of um, why do we go to confession? Why go to a priest? Looking at the, the biblical roots of confession. We'll start out slow. What is sin? What's venial sin? Mortal sin? Uh, some of the, the, the understanding of that. And then we'll move into a little bit deeper. But each week, we'll be progressing through it. Why? Because it's about helping you and helping me go to confession. And maybe try to go to confession. It might be kind of silly, but then again, it's not. Uh, every, every week. It won't be, I'm not going to start it this weekend, but because uh, I want to get you prime. But the following weekend and the rest of the weekends, after every single Mass, at right the 4 o'clock, before the 4 o'clock on Saturday, and also on Sunday, all the Masses before and after, uh, we're going to hear a confession because it's easy for you. You already are here. You already have your children, your husband. So just delay the breakfast, delay the brunch a little bit, and come for the confession. Try and come maybe every single weekend. You're going to be here. And again, it's not the Super Bowl. It's practice. Practice, practice, practice. Amen? Amen. All right, let's do this together.